All right, folks, exercise number nine is about a bag of flower jumping. As always, don't forget to find some good reference material, even if you have to make your own. Here's me with a bag of rice. Yep. <laughs> So, having studied the reference footage, I made a number of sketches on some post-it notes. These sketches are super handy while creating the layout drawing and the breakdown poses in harmony. While the layout sketch is on the lower layer, I can focus on animating straight ahead as I try to get my drawings to match the upcoming poses. This is a great way to get the anticipation and the easing into the character performance while maintaining your volumes of the flower bag. Here's an onion skin view of the frames and the motion test played on twos. The bounce at the end feels a little weird, but I'm just gonna roll with it and move on to the next motion test. Okay, so here's some straight ahead animation drawn with a lot of flipping backwards and forwards. I'm not really using the onion skin to help out and instead I'm kind of relying on intuition it's weird, but I kind of know how many drawings it'll take to get this bag of flour to jump, so I'm just going to give it a shot. I would strongly recommend, as you get a lot more experience and you practice animating, to try to do this. Try to give yourself that, that artistic freedom and license to go and see what you can do without some kind of a plan. You might end up doing a really good job. Here's the motion test played on twos and the onion skin shown at the right. Kind of reminds me of the reference sketches I did on the post-it notes and they're kind of arranged in a bouncing ball formation. So I guess the only thing left to do is a cleanup pass and then I can call it a day. Do me a favor and go give this a shot. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.